Welcome to Authorize.net New Merchant Overview video. On this video, we will guide you so you can understand the platform capabilities, set up your company with ease, and get the most out of it. Today, we will follow Maria step-by-step step as she sets up her Authorize.net account. This will allow her to better manage her business and receive payments faster and safer. The topics covered are the homepage, initial login for first-time users, account setup, transaction search, test mode to familiarize with the platform before running it in the real world, advanced fraud detection suite, API integration to connect your website, shopping carts and other existing tools, virtual terminals, additional features like e-check, digital invoicing, mobile apps, and many others. And finally, resources and support that Authorize.net have available for you. To start, visit Authorize.net. This will take you to our homepage. The Authorize.net homepage has helpful content for both new merchants and those that may be familiar with our services. Click on Sign In and select Merchants from the menu. This will bring you to the login page. The login page is the entry door to your account. Once here, enter your Authorize.net username and password that was provided when you activated your account. Please refer to the email we sent to reference your credentials. If at any point in the future you forget your username or password, you can click on the help links labeled appropriately on the login screen. To retrieve a lost or forgotten login, you will need the email associated with your account and the answer to your security question. If you have any difficulty logging in, please contact support. When setting up your account, you'll be able to tailor it to your business needs. Account setup. Setting up users. No limit to the number of users. Set different user permissions. Our advanced search engine allows you to quickly find any transactions. Authorize.net offers several ways to do it. If the transaction was processed the same day you're attempting to locate it, you would simply click Unsettled Transactions from the left side menu of the home screen. This will take you to a list of all the transactions from your last cutoff time, or batch. You could also search by clicking on the Search tab at the top of the page. Here, you have the option to search by date or date range, the last four digits of the customer's card or bank account number, the customer's name or ID, or transaction invoice number. Batches are sent automatically once per day. You can determine when those batches are sent by adjusting the cutoff time. By default, the cutoff time is 3 p.m. PST. Authorize.net allows you to test it so you can familiarize yourself with it and use it with confidence. Do not run real transactions when in test mode. After activating your gateway, the account is automatically set to test mode. This will be denoted by the orange bar at the top of the screen. When an account is in test mode, any transaction submitted will generate a successful response, though no transaction data is actually recorded or processed. This means that no transaction is actually completed when in test mode. To disable test mode and begin processing real transactions, simply click the link in the orange bar and move the slider to live. Live mode must be enabled to process real transactions. You can toggle between test and live mode by clicking on the Account tab in the top navigation and locating the test mode link. This can be helpful when testing new integrations or making significant changes to your online store. One of Authorize.net's greatest advantages is its advanced fraud detection suite. Unfortunately, fraud happens every day and small businesses are not immune. The Advanced Fraud Detection Suite is a powerful, rules-based set of transaction and IP address filters designed to help protect your business from fraud. These filters include limits on the amount of a transaction, the number of transactions that can be processed in an hour or day, or choose to accept or decline transactions from certain geographies or IP addresses. Default filters, five set when they set up their account, are set when you activate your account. It is good to review these filters often to ensure they are set at the appropriate level for your business. You can also set what you want Authorize.net to do with the transactions that trigger the fraud filters. You can accept them, 
Accept them and request an email be sent to you notifying you that a filter was triggered. Authorize and hold for review, or hold for review before authorizing them, decline them. Authorize.net offers great API integration, allowing you to increase the power of your business. You can easily create a new transaction key to connect third-party services, shopping carts, and post-of-sale systems. We'll guide you through the process if you need assistance. Virtual Terminal works like many physical terminals you already know. The Authorize.net Virtual Terminal allows you to charge or refund a credit card or bank account. You can access this feature by clicking on the Tools tab at the top of your screen or by selecting Virtual Terminal from the left side menu on the home screen. Verify your processor connection and learn about Virtual Terminal. When processing a transaction from the Virtual Terminal, you will input any information from the customer that you would like to capture. At the very minimum, the credit or debit card number, expiration date, transaction account, and billing zip code are required. The virtual terminal can be used to process transactions without requiring additional software, shopping carts, or a sophisticated website. Once all customer information has been entered, you can submit the transaction. The transaction will return a result of accepted to signify that the transaction was successful, while declined indicates that there's a problem with the transaction. To find out why the transaction was declined, click on the transaction ID. The transaction details page is available for any transaction you've processed. This page displays the result of the transaction, authorization information, and other details pertaining to each transaction. On top of all the great tools you've seen so far, Authorize.net brings you many additional features you might want to take advantage of. eCheck. Our exclusive, fully integrated electronic check payment method enables you to accept and process payments from bank accounts directly through your website or the Authorize.net virtual terminal. By accepting electronic checks, you expand the payment options available to new and existing customers, enhancing customer loyalty and potentially increasing sales. Automated recurring billing is a service that allows you to set subscriptions or recurring billing schedules for your customers. The subscription will automatically bill your customers a specified amount in regular intervals, whether monthly, bi-weekly, or yearly. You can always adjust how long a subscription lasts. Customer Information Manager is a service that allows you to store sensitive customer payment information on our secure servers. This allows you to charge or refund a credit card or bank account at any time for any amount. Customer Information Manager also allows customers to save their payment information with a merchant, which means that when a customer returns, their data is already saved and the checkout process is much faster. The customer payment data is stored on our secure servers, which helps alleviate some of the merchant's fee, CIDS. Digital invoicing. You can create an invoice and email it to your customers to provide them with a convenient way to pay. When your customer clicks the invoice, they are taken to a secure payment form we host, which helps to keep your business PCI DSS compliant. Account Updater. It costs seven times more to get a new customer than to keep a current one. So every time you find a way to better service your customers, you win. That's why we've built Account Updater. It's a simple way to keep your customer's card on file information updated to help ensure you keep getting paid and your customers keep receiving services. Mobile app. Accept secure payments wherever you are. Turn your phone or tablet into a fast and secure mobile point of sale, MPOS. You might not be an expert on day one, and as you get familiar, you might have additional questions. Authorize.net offers a wide array of additional resources and support to help you when you need it. Support Center. The Support Center takes you to our online knowledge base where you can find answers to almost any questions you have regarding Authorize.net and your account. The Support Center is organized with you in mind, with categories of frequently asked questions, making it easy to find the information you are looking for. You can also contact our live support team 24-7 via phone or chat and submit help tickets. Developer. The Developer Center is a resource to help developers and web designers integrate with Authorize.net. With API reference guides, sample code, and sandbox accounts, providing all of the information a developer needs to create seamless payment experiences for you and your customers. Resources. Additional resources like a partner directory to find additional technology providers like shopping carts, bookkeeping, 
ticketing, and other software that work with us directly. Four certified developers that can help you build out your e-commerce or digital store. Our blog filled with great information for maximizing your payments experience, as well as our e-commerce guide and a few other helpful resources. Thank you for watching this video. And just like Maria's, your business is ready to safely accept and process payments. Welcome to Authorize.net. We're happy to have you on board.